so my name is Andreas Offenhäuser. I'm uh, head of the Institute of Bioelectronics. It's a Forschungszentrum Jülich in Germany. Um, Forschungszentrum Jülich in Germany is uh, uh, is funded by the um, Helmholtz Association uh, in Germany, and uh, we are working on the coupling of um, biological systems with electronic devices. And what were you talking about at your presentation? So, so t today I was talking about um, the uh, use of nano tools to, to enhance the coupling of uh, um, the electrical signals of neurons to electronic devices like um, metal electrode, uh, so micro electrode arrays and so on. So does that mean you're connecting the brain to a computer? Oh, this is the final goal. Uh, but uh, of course we are not there. And uh, uh, so we are working mostly on in vitro systems. So that means uh, systems which are cultured in, in the dish, uh, in the lab. And um, we are mostly not using uh, these experiments for in vivo studies, even we do so. So we do experiments with uh, living tissue or with, uh, also with living animals. Uh, does a neuron just work like plus minus? Like you just connect some power and it works? Or uh, you... Yes and no. So in, in principle the, the action potential of a neuron is a, a, a signal which can be seen as a, as a, let's say, as a spike. So in, in this case it would mean it's a little bit like a plus and minus or a, a, an on and an off. But in principle, it's an analog signal. signal. So, it, uh, for instance, if you if a signal is uh, con uh, is coming from a postsynaptic neuron onto an sorry from a presynaptic neuron onto a postsynaptic neuron, then of course it's a postsynaptic signal, and this is a very small signal, and this is an analog signal. So, yes, it is a kind of a binary signal, but uh, especially if you look into synaptic signals. Say, say um, uh, more um, analog signals. And when you get into the brain, you just need higher resolution, and it works. Oh no! <laughs> a lot of things have to be solved. So first of all, um, it has to be uh, compatible with the brain. So that means only a few materials are allowed, uh, uh, which go into uh, the living body in the human body. Um, then it has to withstand the. Um, the, the uh, uh, body fluids uh, for a long time, otherwise it, it gets dissolved very quickly. And uh, so there are many things to, to, to be solved. And in addition, it does not need to get uh, to lead to a body reaction, so a scar formation, then because otherwise the complete device is shielded and it's not it's useless. So many things to do, and uh, I think a long way to go. So I've heard of two uh, brain uh, uh, computer interfaces. The one Elon Musk is talking about, he wants to make a hole and put some stuff inside the brain. And uh, there's an open water I've heard of uh, that's using light and uh, kind of like uh, holograms and stuff like that. And they can read what's going on, uh, mm -hmm. stuff great. like that with okay. refraction. Um, but uh, what, what is the goal of your what you're working on? What is what are you trying to do? So, so we um, work more on the fundamentals, so on the on the how to interface neurons with devices. But but of course, at the end, this should be used for understanding the brain. So uh, still, I think the brain is a mystery, uh, and uh, to to better understand how the brain is working one really needs to understand how the signals in, uh, in the brain are created, communicated and, 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 uh, and transferred. And for, to doing so, one needs methods which allow us to study the signals. Um, so either if you go for a, a better understanding of the brain or if you go for, um, let's say, uh, creating devices to help people which are which have uh, let's say which are injured and cannot uh, use the legs anymore and so on i think whatever you do i think you need to improve the, the, the devices and to, to improve the coupling of the devices to the neurons uh, the, when i heard Mary lou jackson talk about some studies she saw 
maybe it was from 10 years ago where people were watching YouTube videos and then they could just think about something and the computer could recreate the video just based on what they were thinking. So basically you could think about your passed away family member and then your, your children will actually get an idea of how they were. Uh, and it sounds like it's just a question of seeing what the brain is doing yeah. in high resolution yeah. and it's, it's like an MRI or something like, yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. But is that something different or you, you're talking about something like that? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm talking something different because I think in, uh, with an MRI you, you, you typically record um, very large uh, uh, samples of neurons. So, so you, you talk about uh, activities in brain areas. Uh, uh, but I don't think that this is enough to really understand how the brain is working. I think you have to go to, ideally, onto the single neuron level. And to do this, you need better devices, you need better, uh, better electrodes. How do you connect? Yeah, I mean, I mentioned this yeah, today in my talk. Uh, so connecting to single neurons by nano tools is possible, but of course, we have to see if this is also working in vivo. We haven't done this so far. Uh, we, we can test this. But um, I think these are the points to be solved. Yeah. So there's some nano system that you kind of like inject in there or touch it to the... Yeah. So, so and you do that in vitro. Uh, now we do it in, in vitro. So, so we, we connect neurons in vitro to our devices and this works very nicely uh, but of course it has not been tested so far in vivo. How do you get neurons in vitro to be mm -hmm. like acting like they should in vivo? Okay, um, so, so neurons can be cultured so, so typically you, you prepare cultures of neurons by dissecting embryonic neurons uh, for instance mouse brain or rat brains um, one can also go to, um, to stem cells uh, as an alternative way. So one can use um, iPSC cells um, to, to create neuron-like structures. Uh, so there are many possibilities. Uh, so there are, a, 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 let's say, a very large variety of um, model systems for in vitro neuroscience studies, um, and we use a couple of them. How far are we from uh, actually, you know, understanding the, the whole the thing happening in vivo? Okay. And, and uh, are we talking about Terminator? What are we? <laughs> what is? What is happening? What is the next step? And how far is the next step? Oh, there are many next steps. I, I think one next step is uh, biocompatibility uh, of these uh, implants. So most of the implants are only used for short term or maybe couple of months um, so I, I think the, the, the devices need to be more stable so that people are uh, willing to get them implanted I mean nobody is doing this operation for let's say half a year or, or a couple of months so this is the one thing on the other side we have to get better resolution uh, from the neurons so uh, getting e close to single cell resolution from neurons. I mean, this is a far, far term goal. There's one comment uh, right here. Uh, sounds like the tech assists in pushing muscle impulses to external devices. Is it, uh, are you pushing muscles, getting them impulses by devices, or are you just reading? Reading. What, mostly what's going on? Mostly reading. So, so reading the signals from neurons. Does it make sense to do the other way too? Of course. Uh, I mean, especially if you think about implants, then uh, um, the other way is very interesting. So, uh, for instance, if you think about, an, an, um, let's say, people losing their, um, their, their vision or their hearing, then of course you need to get the input. Uh, then, then input is also very important. Um, like uh, visual cord, uh, yeah either in the visual cortex or in the retina or in the cochlea or, in, or the uh, uh, cortex for hearing. Uh, how far are we in, uh, in uh, science and knowing and understanding neurons? You think we know a lot, we just need to start experimenting with it? 
oh, there's so much we don't know, and how do we get to know more? <laughs> so, I, I think we know already quite a lot. And I think uh, this knowledge is maybe also a little by, bit diverse because it is spread a little bit between disciplines. Um, but I, I think uh, we still need to improve techniques, technologies, uh, to, uh, to further advance our understanding. I, I think advancing understanding was always connected to advancing technology, and I think this, is also, uh, this needs to also be here in this case, in the neuroscience area. And is enough being done in Europe? Or oh. so much more needs to be done, and how do you get more done? Okay. The so, students are there. They are interested to work yeah. on this stuff, right? Yeah. So, so in Europe, I think uh, we, we missed a little bit the chance uh, what the US uh, did. So they had this uh, uh, brain project in US, and, and from this brain project, many um, new devices were developed and, and new approaches were developed to, to, uh, to interface with the, with the brain. In Neuron, we focused more on... Um, that data science, uh, so um, it's more computational neuroscience. Uh, this is also important, but I, I guess we missed a little bit the chance to go also into the direction of experimental neuroscience. But uh, things are moving now. You had the conference, you're interacting with uh, yeah. decision makers, yeah. uh, you're having a lot of conferences, uh, or many people are watching what you talk about. Um, what? What would you say? Not just yourself, but in the ecosystem. The ecosystem. The I, I, I would say um, Europe is still focusing more on, on uh, numerical neuroscience um, rather than on these experimental approaches like the US is doing. So I, I would say a more balanced approach would be better and one has to convince, uh, let's say, decision makers, uh, uh, EU policy, um, to, to, let's say, convince people that a balanced approach is, is a better approach. We can't let those Americans be the brains. Uh, we, 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 we tend to think that we are smarter than them, right, in Europe. So we should, we should be the brain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, hopefully. All right. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank you. Thank you.